Hello everybody, I wanted to say hi to everybody, it's been quite a long time here from uh, Durango Hydroponics and I wanted to do a thick update uh, this time. So I know it's been a while but um, I went out of the country and then I got busy and it's always something to do. I got uh, some of these figs from a friend on the internet and uh, I wanted to give an update. I got uh, a total of six cuttings and uh, looks like they all took. Uh, these first two, they look like they're dead, but they're really not. Um, the top is kind of dead, but I don't know if you can see. Eh, there's a little root right there on the bottom coming out. I just fed them um, hydroponic. Uh, with, with a hydroponic uh, solution. This one is also, it also looks like it's dead, but it's not. This actually has uh, bigger roots. And um, it's looking, looking like it's gonna take off as well. So just the top here seems that it's dead, but from here down, uh, it looks okay. The other ones are looking much, much better. And uh, they actually have uh, quite a lot of roots on the bottom. If I take it out here, this one has quite a bunch of roots. And uh, the other ones are very similar. So these, that one, that one, that one, this one, and this one, they're all, the, um, I did the lasagna method with it. And I had them in a container with a dome on it. And uh, when I took them out, most of the leaves uh, died, actually. So I guess because I went from having high humidity to pretty much no humidity or very low humidity, so they all died. And uh, you can still see on some of them, you know, some of the shriveled um, leaves. Uh, this one had some here, and um, this one also had some, like, you know, right there and they just completely died so i guess the lesson is that if you are doing a high humidity dome uh, don't just take them out you have to take them out very slowly this one i never did that i think uh what i did is i have uh, uh, oops just dropped one um this one i think i had um perlite at the bottom then i put uh some of the mix that I use is um, cocoa coir with um, perlite and vermiculite, and then the top also with just perlite. So that one has a different way that I studied it. And it had the thicker, it was a thicker cutting, so I think that's why it's ahead of the other ones. I don't think there's anything else special to that. They're all doing okay i guess they could be better i think um that one i took it out before the um before it starts to warm up and i took it outside and i think uh it had a big leave and it died um so i had to take it in again and kind of start all over again so anyways i don't want to make this video too long this is the six cuttings from ben a friend on the internet and then I just got these other cuttings from my sister. They're quite long, actually. I think, uh, I don't know if the leaves are gonna die. They had a little bit of uh, a few leaves on the top and uh, they're shriveling a little bit. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna take over. What I did on this one, this was a, floor, a flower vase. And uh, what I did is I put um, some moss on the bottom and i put a little bit of hydroponic solution it's a low concentration it was i think like the uh, 400 ppms and then um i left air and then i put a little bit of a uh, uh, moss again on the top and i just keep it humid i'm trying not to have any water water standing but just keeping it humid and see if uh, that will uh, root. It usually takes a while before they you see roots 
but I'm hoping that these will uh, take off as well. Um, I think these are two kinds. I don't know the names of them or the variety of fig. It's uh, from a lady's house, and my sister just cut some branches and brought them to me. And I think these are um, uh, brown and white figs. I don't know which ones are which, so I guess we'll have to find out eventually. So that's it. Um, thank you for staying, and uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, spread the word, please, of the channel. I'll be. I'll try to put some more videos. Bye.